everybody it's rachel good to see you guys thanks for watching um on rachel's bariatric journey i am doing a grocery haul and a progress report um yeah, I'm going to go over some of my favorite things that I've been using pretty much every day or close to every day, definitely weekly, if not more, uh, since I've been on kind of my reordered eating plan uh, and show you my current progress. So my very first consultation um, for bariatric weight loss surgery was on May 20. And today it is June 8. And since I started eating according to the reordered eating plan, um, I have lost 13 pounds. I will give you my most recent picture up here with my weight. Um, and that is where I'm currently at as of today. So 13 pounds down from my original highest weight, which was uh, 363. Um, so that's where I'm at. I am really happy with that for progress. I'm looking forward to weight starting to lose faster once I get in for surgery. They're trying to get me in for surgery late July, early August of this year, 2022. So they're trying to really get me through because I am going to be losing um, my insurance sometime in the summer. Now it's looking more like it'll be October, but either way, my clinic is super on top of it and are really trying to get me through to make sure that insurance is going to cover my surgery. So uh, that's my progress. I have had some weight fluctuations this week, um, have been dealing with some, you know, emotional triggers, just stress, past trauma that's come up and kind of has caused that to fluctuate a little bit. Um, it's, I think my biggest challenge so far is just learning how to develop different coping mechanisms so that I don't turn to food as a coping mechanism when I do have those days that I'm just particularly stressed and also that I don't turn to alcohol on those days because I did have alcohol this week. Um, and that's just not something that I know it's something that I can't have before surgery, post-surgery for at least six months, according to what my clinic has told me. Um, but beyond that, it's just not something that I want to turn to as an emotional crutch because that leads to danger, danger, danger. And so um, trying to find other coping mechanisms, other things to help me get through those hard patches so that I get to the other side, start a day fresh, and I'm able to keep going. So um, that is kind of what I've been working through this week. Uh, so my... 13 pounds is scale victory, a non-scale victory with just feeling like I have better movement. I'm not quite as winded going up the stairs as I usually am. We only have one bathroom in our house and it's on the second floor. So I'm up and down the stairs quite a bit during the day, especially with four young kids and one that we just recently potty trained. So um, I haven't been quite as winded going up the stairs. So that is my non-scale victory for this week. So I'm going to try and find at least one non-scale victory to put in one of these videos every single week. So there's my basic progress. Let me show you guys what I got. Now I went shopping um, at Aldi, at Trader Joe's, and also at Meyer. Meyer, uh, I don't know if, you know, not everybody has Meyer. Meyer is more of like a North Midwest kind of thing, like Michigan, Indiana, um, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, kind of that area, because it started um, in my hometown in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, so I went to Meyer, and I think I got an Amazon purchase on here as well. Anyways, I'll show you what I have. So this is what I... Actually, there's two Amazon purchases. This is what I use for my protein powder. Uh, my target grams of protein, I want to say, is 135 grams of protein. Uh, per day. Um, I've really been liking this. I will link this in the description below. And just so you are aware, I do have affiliated links because I have my other channel that has affiliated links with it. So I just use that. So I might get a small commission if you decide to purchase something from Amazon, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just showing you what I got. Um, so this is what I get. I actually signed up for the subscribe and save on Amazon. So um, this is how many pounds is this? It's 1.4 pounds. There are approximately 21 scoop servings in this container. 
and I am set up to get one of these every two weeks, I think. I think it's every two weeks. Um, and I'm paying, I think, like $13 for this every two weeks. So that's kind of my thing. Um, I really like this a lot. It tastes really good. It's not gritty at all. Uh, I usually mix it with half skim milk and half water. Fill up my 20 ounce shaker bottle. Put a scoop up to a scoop and a half. Um, and there, shake it up and drink it and it's great. Um, I will show you the ingredients here because my clinic said, hey, make sure that when you're looking at ingredients, it has to be whey protein isolate, which is the first ingredient. No blends, no concentrates. This is what it needs to say. So I found this and it's hard to find ones that are not ridiculously expensive that have that as the main first ingredient, but I found one. Um, and then the other thing that they said is, um, look at the calories and how many grams of protein there are. And they said, okay, so take your calories, which this is 120 calories. And then they said, look at the protein. Where's the protein? Protein is here. It's 26 grams of protein. So if you want to make sure that it's a good protein shake, you take the zero off the calories and if that number is lower the calorie number is lower once you take that zero away then the number of uh, the protein then you have a good one I don't know why that is or how that is that's what they told me this met all the criteria so this is what I'm using I'm very happy with it it lasts a good long while tastes great um, other protein snacks I went to Trader Joe's and I picked these up Chewy chocolate and peanut butter protein bars. I have basically just kind of decided that protein bars are not going to be my thing because unless y'all have some great recommendations for me, I find that the carb content on protein bars is really high and I'm just trying to keep my carbs as low as possible just to establish healthy habits around that. So I, I don't really plan on utilizing a lot of protein bars. I'll kind of just stick with the protein shakes. I like those fine. Um, and this one, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not really great. It's 109 calories here. I'll, if you can see all that, I'm really hoping this isn't showing up backwards on my video. I don't usually hold up text to my screen. It's 190 calories, uh, 11 grams of fat, 15 gram of carb and only 10 grams of protein. So I don't know. I probably won't buy these again. They're, they taste good. They're okay. But I, I don't know. I just don't really like that mix. So I don't know if I'm going to get those again. However, my faves at Trader Joe's are also these egg wraps. Now they're very thin. I usually use two at a time to kind of hold things together a little bit, but these are great. Um, they have, uh, so two wraps is actually one serving and there is some nutrition facts for you. Um, so for two wraps, it's 60 calories, two and a half grams of fat, um, two grams of carb and eight grams of protein. So this is a really great substitute for tortillas or sandwich bread or other things like that. I do think that they taste a little bit better warmed up. So you can microwave them, uh, and that, I feel like, improves the flavor a little bit. But I've had them cold, too, and they still taste fine. They don't really taste like anything to me. Like, they just kind of taste plain. Obviously, if you have an egg allergy, then these would not work for you. But I'm very pleased with these. I use them all the time. And this is one of my favorite things, especially for, like, if I have leftovers from, like, the night before. I'll put it on a wrap, wrap it up, heat it up, and that's my lunch, so like these um also trader joe's this is now becoming a staple in my house high protein organic tofu now i'm sure that there's a lot of people who are scared of tofu uh i am not afraid of tofu uh, about eight years ago my husband and i actually went vegan for the better part of a year um in an effort to lose weight and just be healthier and i really came to like tofu so 
Um, tofu is actually a really enjoyable snack for me. I will take these because there's five servings in here and it's just in a block. So I will cut this open and I'll cut it into five sections and I'll weigh them out um, to make sure that I'm getting the correct serving. And then I'll put those in um, a container in the fridge so I know that I can just take one out at a time and have the correct portion size. Um, and I'll just snack on it raw. I don't mind raw tofu at all. My favorite way to eat it though is in my air fryer. If you follow me on Instagram, um, which if you want to, you can, it's just at Rachel's bariatric journey on Instagram. You can see a picture of how I made my, of my tofu. I like to, um, sprinkle some everything bagel seasoning on top of it. Uh, kind of toss it in that, throw it in the air fryer at 390 degrees for like nine minutes. It gets nice and crispy. And then I just splash a dash of soy, low sodium soy sauce on it. And I eat that. That's what I had for lunch today. It's delicious. Um, so that is... A favorite of mine um, calories it's 130 calories per serving seven grams of fat three grams of carb and 14 grams of protein so this is definitely a winner in my book I'm eating this probably every other day love this stuff um, let's see what else I got here I think that's all that I have from Trader Joe's the rest of the stuff here, I'll show you what I got from Aldi. Um, and I'll start with the yogurts. So I have to show you a yogurt that I hate first. I got this from Meyer. I don't know if any of you else have tried this. At least the lemon flavor is disgusting. <laughs> it does not taste good. Um, I tried the, I think it was coconut or vanilla. I can't remember. I got a few flavors. That one was okay. Like I was able to finish the whole thing, but I was not even able to finish this. Like this just is, is yucky. I don't like it. Like I got all geeked out about it and I bought a bunch of it because I was like, ooh, two grams of, of sugar, 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. This is perfect. It does It doesn't taste good. So I have a bunch of this now that I need to figure out what to do with because I not a fan um but some yogurt that i am a fan of is this uh from aldi friendly farms non-fat greek yogurt and i was told that when it comes to greek yogurt i had to keep the carbs below 15 grams of carbs that's what my dietitian told me so you can't they have non-fat greek yogurt at aldi that has like fruit on the bottom you can't do those the carbs are too high on those but these ones that are already like mixed pre-mixed i think they have three flavors they have like tropical fruit blueberry and mixed berry um these are perfectly fine because it's total gram of carb is 10 and they are 100 calories zero fat 10 grams of carb and 13 grams of protein in one of these so i love these i stack up on these these are a favorite for me. This is what I usually have for breakfast. I'll have a protein shake and one of these, and that is my breakfast. Um, I also found these, which were also at Aldi, and they sell these in four packs. And I saw two flavors. They had vanilla and this mixed berry. Um, this one is also 100 calories, and it comes, like I said, it comes in a four pack. A four pack was like $3. So these are 69 cents a piece, by the way. Um, and these are $3 for a pack of four. So if you don't live by an Aldi, I feel very badly for you. If you do live by an Aldi, go shop there. You will save so much money and it is so worth it. Um, so this is their Friendly Farms brand again, protein yogurt. It has a uh, hundred calories, zero fat, seven gram of carbs so even less than the other one and 15 grams of protein and this stuff is tasty it's not as delicious as like full fat greek yogurt but this is still very very good i have no problem eating this at all and for a four pack for three dollars that's a very good deal so good price good to stack up on those are my favorite yogurts um, so when I was at Aldi, they have a bunch of like fruit squirt ins for flavoring your water. My kids love those. I don't really love them that much. Um, so I decided to try these and these I actually really like 
from Aldi. They're the Pure Aqua Water Flavor Enhancers. Five calories in a packet. No, sh uh, two gram of carb. No fat. There's, there's that. So you mix it with a 16 ounce bottle of water. I put it in my shaker bottle, shake it up. And it tastes delicious. This is the raspberry lemonade, which is my favorite. They also have a um, tea, tea with lemon, iced tea with lemon, and just a lemonade flavor. So you get 10 packets in one of these. I don't remember how much they cost. Sorry. But everything on uh, Aldi is pretty inexpensive. So really like these. I also got at Aldi this. Gatorade Zero with Protein and Glacier Cherry. These bottles are 16.9 fluid ounces. It's 50 calories a bottle, 10 grams of protein per bottle, and only one gram of carb. I know a lot of people like these. I haven't actually tried it before, so let me try it right here. Why not? It just tastes like Cherry Gatorade. So that's nice. Um... These were more expensive, like even at Aldi, like it came in a pack of four. And I think for four, it was like five something. So I probably won't be buying these that often. I don't really feel the need to get 10 gram of protein in with my water, my hydration. I don't know. Probably won't buy these a ton, but they taste really nice. And, you know, when I'm more in like the liquids emphasis part of my journey I'll probably drink more of these but for the moment I don't know it's it tastes good I just for the price I'm not gonna buy them um when I can get my protein other places so I got two more things here which these are not probably technically the best um but I really enjoy them they're pumpkin seeds this to me is a good replacement when I really am craving something salty. Like sugar-free jello pudding is kind of like my go-to if I'm craving something sweet and a treat. And these are kind of my go-to when I'm craving something salty and crunchy. Um, so these I got at Aldi as well. There's the nutrition facts on that. It's 130 calories, six grams of fat. Uh, 16 grams of carbs and six grams of protein. And that is in a one quarter cup serving or 30 grams. So you definitely want to measure these out portion control, make sure that you're not like eating the whole bag or grabbing a big handful or whatever. Uh, but if you're wanting something salty and crunchy, I think that these are a great option and I was snacking on them yesterday and really enjoyed them. So did my kids. My children discovered that they really like pumpkin seeds. All of my children were hounding me for the pumpkin seeds. So it's like, okay, well, now I know this is just something that I need to make sure that I put in the cart when I go to the store. Um, and then the last thing, this is more like a occasional splurgy thing. I've always loved having sweet coffee. I like cream and sugar in my coffee. And so making an adjustment from um, not only trying to limit my caffeine, because I'm going from full calf to half calf to decaf, because they said that I can still have decaf. Um, and that actually counts towards my hydration goals, which was nice. Um, so I don't have to give up coffee. I just need to give up the caffeine part of the coffee. Uh, but I really love sweet coffee. Um, and so I've been missing having, you know, cream and sugar in my coffee. So I picked this up. This is from back in my days of eating a more plant-based diet. I used to use this quite a bit. Haven't picked it up in quite some time. Um, but I figured this would be good for an occasional splurge as a coffee sweetener. Um, cause I'm still fine with having just half and half in my coffee. Um, I don't generally like my coffee black. Like I'm always like, if I have to have black coffee, I'll drink it. As long as it's good black coffee. If it's like Folgers, Maxwell House black coffee, no. I'll skip it. If it's like really good black coffee, then I so there's some times that I actually prefer not having anything in it because the coffee tastes better that way. Um, there's this one uh, local roaster here, Runyon Roasts, and they gave me something. We, we bought something from them that I can't even remember what it was called, but it was so delicious. 
it almost tasted like tea. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a coffee like that fruity and just pure and well roasted. Like it was delicious. I'll link their website down below too, if you want to see Runyon roasts. Um, but it was one of those things where it's like, if I put anything in this, it would destroy this coffee. Like this must be drunk black. It's, it was just really good. Anyways, that was a tangent. Um, nutrition facts on this. There you go. Um, 60 calories for one tablespoon, no fat, 16 gram of carb, no protein. So this is not an everyday thing that I put in my coffee. This is a maybe a few times a week thing that I put in my coffee. Uh, it just sweetens it up a little bit, but I, I'm perfectly fine with drinking with just half and half in my cup. Uh, so that's kind of my main things. And then if you don't already, which I'm not sure how you wouldn't, but if you don't already have some like, these are not blender bottle brand. These are Hydra cup. I got these on Amazon. I got a four pack for $21. Um, they work great. Uh, come in different colors and it has the, the shaker thing in it to get all of your protein shake mixed in well, or other drink mixins mixed well. Um, and these are basically just with me all the time now. And it's nice that it's 20 ounces because it's like, okay, three of these a day to hit my minimum like hydration goals. Uh, yesterday, I actually wound up having five of them. I think, I, I think I'm pretty sure I had like 100 ounces of water yesterday. But I was really dehydrated um, because I had been really bad about drinking water the day before. So it balances out. But those are really nice. I'll link those in the description if you're interested in checking those out. They're a pretty good deal and they're a pretty good product. So that is my kind of like little shopping haul from Trader Joe's and Aldi and Meyer. The things that I utilize on a regular and daily basis and probably will be for a good long while, if not the rest of my life, which is fine. Um... So yeah, that's my progress. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, go check that out at Rachel's Bariatric Journey. I'm glad you're here at my channel. Uh, and other than that, I think that um, I'm not going to be posting a video next week because I will be on vacation. But the week after that, I will be back and I might... We'll see how the internet is where we're going. I might just do like a short video here or there through the week just to like show you what I'm up to. But um, and you know, reordered eating on vacation, how that goes. So, um, yeah, I think that's it, but thanks for hanging out with me. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Uh, and we will all watch me shrink together. All right. Bye guys. Bye.